Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you that if file exists in a folder then load those files otherwise send an email to the group of people that there is no file to process and exit the process. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that our SSIS package should loop through all the files in a particular directory and if there are files available then the process should load the file and if there is no file to process then it should exist and send an email that there is no file to process. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Naidu and he said that can you do a video about script tasks and send mail tasks in SSIS to send emails if file is equal to zero then send an email otherwise if file is greater than zero then it should load the file. So I thought to make a video on this one because this can be helpful for others as well. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got a file email underscore info dot csv and if I open this particular file, so this contains people's information like their id, first name, last name, email and gender information. So our SSIS package should loop through all the files in the D files location and if there are some files then those files should be loaded to a SQL server table. So let me open my SQL server instance. So this is my SQL server 2019 instance and in my work database, I got a table, email table and right now this table is empty. So all the CSV files from this location should be loaded to the email table inside the work database. And if there is no file to process, then an email should be sent that there is no file to process. Okay. There can be multiple ways to implement this particular functionality. But I think the easiest way will be that we can use a for each loop container with file enumerator. So the for each loop container will loop through all the files inside this D files location. And if there will be some files, then the control will go inside the for each loop container. And then there comes the main part that what exactly we will do. So we will declare a variable file count and initially we will set the value as zero. Okay. And now if the control will come inside the for each loop container. So in the for each loop container, we will assign the value one to the file count. So just after processing all the files just outside the for each loop container, we will use a script task to send the email and then on the precedence constants which will connect the for each loop container with the script task, we will add the code that if the value of the file count is zero, it means that no file was loaded. So we can just send the email and if the value of the file count is one, it means that files were loaded. So we won't send the email. So I think we can implement this easily in SSIS. So let me just go ahead and write this code. Let me just declare two variables here. The first variable will be file path and the data type will be a string for this one. And what I can do, I can just give an initial value of file here. D files email info. I can paste it here. And another variable I will create is file count. And the data type will be in 32 so that's fine i can just close this one now i can use a for each loop container and then i can just configure the for each loop container here in the collection i will select for each file enumerator and then i will browse the d files location where our files exist d files okay and in the file type i will select csv so that it can just load only csv files now in the variable mapping i can select the file path now click ok now i can just drag and drop the data flow task which can actually load the data from the csv file to the sql server table and we will be using the flat file source to read the data i can make a new connection here and maybe i can call it as flat file and then i can browse the file csv file select this file click open now I can click on preview. So data seems good here. I can click OK. OK. Now I can use OLEDB destination to write the data into the email table. So I can just configure the OLEDB destination here. I need to create a new connection to the work database. Click OK. From the data access mode, I will select table or view fast load so that data can be inserted with bulk insert. And I can select the table here. My table name is email. Now I need to click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns. So this seems good. Click OK. Now I can make the flat file connection manager dynamic so that it can loop through multiple files and it can load multiple files. 
so from the connection string now i can just drag and drop the file path evaluate expression click ok ok so my for each loop container has been configured successfully now here comes the part that i just need to drag and drop the execute sql task and i can put it inside the for each loop container and then just after the data flow task i can assign the value as 1 to the file count SSIS variable set value 1 ok and I can just configure it I can give any connection here it won't make any difference in the SQL statement I will put select 1 ok in the result set I will select the single row and then in the result set I will just give the value of that file count ok so if the file will be processed then value 1 will be assigned to the file count now click ok now in the script task what I can do I can just connect the for each loop container with the script task I can just right click and rename the script task and I will call the script task as send email and then I can just right click and configure the precedence constants and I will click on edit and in the evaluation type I will select expression and constants and in the expression so let me just drag and drop the file count here and I will write a condition if file count double equal to zero it means that the file is not processed means file was not available so the email will be sent otherwise email won't be sent so I can click ok ok so this seems good now I can just configure the send mail task here I can click on the edit script I already created a video like how to send email from SSIS using Gmail using C sharp of course so I will share that link in the description of the video where I have explained all the things in very detail so maybe you can just check that email that can help you but for this particular example I have the code to send the email that I will share with you and you can download that code so let me just copy this code so this is the code public void main and then I can copy all code from here and I can just replace everything here Okay, so this seems good here it is saying that these type of namespaces are missing so I can just click on show potential fixes and then I can add this using system.net.mail ok and now this is remaining so I can click on show potential fixes and I can select using system.net ok so all the errors have gone now what exactly we are doing here that this is our from email address and you can see this is our two email address so right now I'm using the same from email address and same to email address and this is my password you can use your gmail address and then your password for that particular gmail address to send the emails and you can put any two email address here okay all these things will be unchanged and in the subject you can write any subject that you want and in the message body you can write any code whatever you wish to send in the email ok so I think those things you can configure and uh, let me just close this particular code click ok there is one more thing that go here to enable the less secure app to send email from C shops so we need to actually open this particular URL and then enable the less secure app I think right now it is disabled let's see how it works ok so right now if I will execute my SSIS package then it will load the data from this email underscore info csv file into the sql server table and no email should be sent ok so let me just execute the ssis package so the ssis package ran fine and it inserted 1000 records from the csv file to the sql server table and let me check the data so yeah so data is here so this seems good let me just truncate this table ok and now let me just move this file to some other folder so this time there is no file to process so now ideally the email should be sent and no data should be loaded so let me just rerun the SSIS package so you can see that the control did not came to this particular location so no file was loaded but it got failed while trying to send the email ok so let me just check what happened I think this might be because of the uh, I have not enabled the less secure app right now and I will share all this code with you and this link as well so that you can enable the less secure app so let me check my email and see what happened so this is my email address that I created just to send the emails okay 
so i did not get any email here but recently when i was trying to for example send the email so i got some emails like critical security alert that there was some sign in attempt that was blocked so what i can do so let me copy this particular url and to uh, open a new page in the incognito mode and i can paste it here enter all right i need to sign in i can copy the credentials from here and as well as the password next so i can just scroll down all right so this is the one less secure app access i just need to turn on access not recommended but i will use it <laughs> okay so i can just allow it now okay so this has been allowed now all right so now let me just rerun the ssi package and an email should be sent all right so the package ran successfully and i think i should got the email all right so i got the email and i also got the critical security alert as well that was a minute back and this is the email notification that notification no file is available to process and this is to notify you that ssi package ran but but found no file to load okay and this is the from address and this is also the to address okay this is how you can send the emails from the ssi package and this information like test ssi package notification i think this came from this location so you can just modify this information as well if you want okay so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much